everybody there is like focused on being productive. You know, it's a quiet space where people are there like working on their projects. Before COVID, I, I lived traveling around Southeast Asia. Let me take you now to one of the newest co-working spaces just minutes away from here. Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. We are in the city of Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand and this episode we're gonna dedicate to the expats of Chiang Mai. We have been doing quite a lot of street interviews around Thailand and I started to realize that especially in Chiang Mai, it is very attractive for people to settle down here from outside of Thailand and be here for a certain amount of time. Could be a few months, a few years. And also the people actually settling down forever here in the city. I do already think that I know why the people are choosing to settle down here or work remotely here in Chiang Mai. But let's try to find some interesting foreigners here on the streets in Nimmen. This is one of the popular areas to stay in. They've got nice restaurants, bars. It's not only popular for foreign people, no, it's actually also the Thai people love this area. Nimmen is a little bit more expensive to stay in than anywhere else in Chiang Mai. That's why I chose to stay a few minutes drive away from this area. If you're working remotely or you're planning to go to Thailand or maybe you're already in Chiang Mai, the end of this video uh, might be very interesting for you because we are visiting one of the newest workspaces here or co-worker spaces here in Chiang Mai. Let's try to find some interesting people. It's going to be an interesting one again. Let's go. I've been here for a little while now. Um, I love it. But what's, what makes it so interesting for you as a, as a digital nomad? Um, well, so I think... Um like there's fast internet, you know, um, there's a lot of cool co-working spaces. There's like a very interesting expat community and digital nomad community in general. So like there's a lot of um, interesting people to meet and things to do and everything yeah. like that. Uh, the Thai culture is obviously incredible as well. Um, and I like that it's situated sort of in Northwest Thailand or in Northwest Thailand um, in the mountains, in the jungle, you know, yeah. so like every Sunday I can walk up to Doi Sutsep and, you know, meditate in this like beautiful Buddhist temple and yeah. have like a, you know, good like sort of exercise getting there. And then yeah. like, yeah, during the week it's, uh, you know, I, there's a co-working space. Why would you choose a, a co-working space if you can work from home or for, from any cafe, really? Uh, to me, it's about like being in, you know, the, the, yeah, I, I mean, maybe I'm I don't know how, like, it's the energy that's there, right? Like, yeah. and I don't mean, like, in a woo-woo sense, although maybe even just a little bit, but, like, um, everybody there is, like, focused on being productive. You know, it's a quiet space where people are there, like, working on their projects. And it's also, like, um, collaborative and creative. So there's a lot of new people that you can meet um, who are working on similar projects or, like, yeah. at least working in a similar space. Most people are working in tech. Um, and so... Uh, there's access to talent, there's, you know, meetups, there's happy hours and uh, things like that. And so it's like it's a, a community forms yeah, you know, right. around these sorts of places. Yeah. What, what are you doing, if I may ask? Uh, so I right now I'm working on a YouTube channel. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your channel name? My name is uh, Crypto Bow. Um, Crypto Bo. Yeah, yeah. So we do. It's a YouTube channel that is focused on like um, education, infotainment, you know, that sort of thing. Um, okay. We do a little bit of like affiliate marketing for, um, you know, some products that we actually enjoy, things like Trezor um, and just some centralized exchanges that are like crypto fiat gateways. We'll review and say which ones are trustworthy and which ones are not. I've been abroad for like many years leading up to the pandemic and then the pandemic hit and now this i've only been out here for about a month and a half right um and so this is my my back my foray back into the world yeah. out of the united states after being okay. stuck there for the pandemic okay. yeah so um these many years of of uh, being a nomad mm. what would you say is the downside of it for the people that maybe are considering to you know going abroad because they're doing uh, working from home anyway um i think it's uh it can be isolating, you know? Uh, you very much have to be able to rely on yourself. There's not, you know, like, I guess if you have support systems, if you're traveling with a partner or things like that, you know, you can mitigate some of these sorts of things. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to get your footing, especially if you're not already sort of an extroverted person. Like if you aren't willing to go out and put yourself out there, if you like the comfort of your own home, if you're a little bit more introverted, then it might not be the best option. But like if you're willing to like go out and like meet new people, form a community, yeah. Uh, then yeah, the nomad life fucking rocks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you have to be a little self-reliant and um, you also, you know, have to have a little bit of street smarts. You know, it can, yeah. there, are, there are moments where it can be as a foreigner who doesn't speak the language, it's just harder to, to understand the situation that you've gotten yourself into sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so. man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I absolutely. appreciate it. All Thank right. you. You've been here several times, you're saying? What? Yeah, I think this is my fourth or fifth time living here. Yeah. Okay. And um, what makes Chiang Mai so special? That's really the question. 
Chiang Mai is like, I, t- I tell people that Chiang Mai is like a gateway Asia yeah. for, for white people. Okay. <laughs> so it's like familiar enough to, to Western sensibilities that they don't feel too lost. Yeah. It's cheap, but there's enough like um, difference to make it like interesting yeah. or, or to explore a wee bit. And then I think a lot of people who come here move on to other places yeah. uh, and try out different things. Um, in, in Thailand or you mean around the world? Uh, Southeast Asia particularly, yeah. but Asia in general, because like I think like here, Thailand is really easy. It's like easy to understand money. It's relatively cheap. And then you go elsewhere. Yeah. And so like for where I live in Vietnam, it's less Western, less developed, but um, also a lot more freedom and, and opportunity. Ah. So um, I think that like Chiang Mai is the uh, a easy place to come to to start, to start and, it, yeah. and an easy place to come back to where you don't have to think too much about yeah. how you get your visa and all that sort of so stuff. So what what type of visas have you been normally on? I only ever come on the exemption. Oh yeah. So I stay here for two months, or like one month, get an extension, oh, yeah. then leave. Yeah. Before COVID, I I lived traveling around Southeast Asia. Okay. So it's a super easy place to come back to because you know you can just uh, two months easy, and then off to uh, everywhere you can fly to from yeah. Bangkok is easy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Depends where you're from. I think from Europe or the US, you want to think about time zones. Yeah. Like depending on if you're working online. The thing about the Chiang Mai because it's been so long as a really popular place to come. Yeah. That people locals and everything are geared up or they were before COVID really geared up to for the nomad population so yeah. which makes it easy but it actually can be a lot more expensive than elsewhere in Thailand or, yeah. or Southeast Asia for that matter yeah um, well here in Chiang Mai yeah yeah okay. I don't know how much traveling you've done but like yeah. um, I think like downtown Bangkok and down in the islands are expensive but yeah. elsewhere in Thailand can be really cheap especially yeah. food wise yeah and then elsewhere in Southeast Asia can be Super cheap, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I feel like people coming here are almost limiting themselves in their experience with Southeast Asia. Okay. Um, because here, to me, this feels like um, urban New Zealand or yep. Australia. Like, okay. it's not actually that Asian, okay. <laughs> and yeah. which is fine. Like, yeah. and the same with Bali, right? Yeah. If you go to Canggu in Bali, it's like a, a coastal Australian beach town. There's yeah, so yeah, many yeah. white people there that it's almost like we're using the locals instead of embracing them yeah and I feel like that's a bit sad for people's experience you can yeah. embrace a bit more and have a much more interesting experience so. okay what makes it interesting for you to go to a co-working space and not just staying at home or go to a different cafe every time um, I don't work very well in cafes I know they're popular for a lot of people but I just get irritated yeah. <laughs> by people talking oh, yeah. one of the things I like about yeah. Vietnam is I don't understand Vietnamese at all and so I can concentrate yeah, yeah, yeah. in cafes like I, I get distracted easily right. uh, for me co-working places are a, a combination of like the ease of having good Wi-Fi quiet space yeah. you can concentrate and not at home okay. I don't mind working from home but I tend to get pretty lazy, so yeah. the longer I'm at home, the less work I get done. Okay. And um, so I recognize that in myself. The other yeah. thing is like a solo traveler, yeah. the certain amount of community and meeting other people that goes on in co-working spaces is really good. Yeah. And there's a huge variety of like co-working spaces. So I try to choose ones that have a little bit of um, organized activity. Yeah. For me, that's good. And there's like, so in downtown, in Bangkok, you can go to a co-working place with like 500 people and it's like I mean that's cool but it's yeah. like I'm not going to meet anyone or have interesting conversations no, there. Yeah, we're actually visiting uh, right after this conversation a uh-huh. co-working space uh, a very small co-working space oh, actually yeah. kind of like a family a big house I would say right. uh, which is maybe interesting uh, to look into as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. For more street interviews here in Chiang Mai you can click on this banner let me take you now to one of the newest co-working spaces just minutes away from here minutes away from Nimmen I'll lazy you in. We're standing in front of one workspace. We're meeting Oi, she's already waiting for us. We're gonna have a little chat with her to see what this workspace is about. We are here at one workspace. Yes. And uh-huh. we made an episode about, or making an episode mm-hmm. about, the foreigners, the expats of yes. Chiang Mai. Mm-hmm. Why do you think foreigners, um, Western foreigners, mm-hmm. uh, but also from China, and like there's a lot of expats living yes. and choosing to be in Chiang Mai, in the north of Thailand. Mm-hmm. Why is that, you think? Because of the... Many purpose and one of the purpose is they looking to do business. I'm having a place here in Chiang Mai as well. Yes. 
but I figured out that people also like to, even if you have your own house yes. and your own uh, office, mm -hmm. it's still nice to have another workspace. Yes, yes. And, uh, and the feeling like a home. Add of yeah. memory, you know. Well, that's, this is what yes. I want to talk about. Is that yeah. we are now in one workspace. You are yes. a, a one of the owners of. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, we have a seven partner together, yeah. and our intent was to uh, do this one working, uh, one one workspace as a family. Yeah. As a, the the design like a, your home and yeah. your house. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can feel that actually. Yes. I've been here mm -hmm. a few times now and uh, mm -hmm. it feels really homely. Yes. Uh, my sister is working behind the cafe. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, we are like a friend, sister and family. Yeah. That's why we would like for her to feel that they stay here like a family as well. Yeah. If they need help, we will helping and any some suggestion yeah. you know, to be here yeah. at the family. Yeah, you also have a small kitchen there. And sure. You're saying that people can also just buy grab or whatever. Yes, uh -huh, because of like I said, the concept is like a work in home, yeah. you know, so we have a small kitchen yeah. and we have some equipment for helping that if customer will come and then they need some lunch, yeah. they can uh, order by delivery yeah. and they can use our kitchen, yeah. you know, and our garden and, you know, we even have a uh, coffee and water to support yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Why would you choose uh, to go to Chiang Mai as a foreigner? <laughs> because of Chiang Mai, you know, like uh, it's, it's uh, it's more relaxing, you know, because of it's type of mountain and uh, yeah. uh, many flower and many tourist places. That's mm. why they would like to stay in Chiang Mai. Yeah. Yes. As a foreigner, I can say that it's not always easy to apply for the right visa mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. want to stay long term in, in Thailand. Yes. It, it's not easy, but it's not difficult. If you know, you know, if, if you, you know, know the, the yes, steps. Yes, yes, yeah, step, yeah. you know, because of the same with another country. We have the, the rule, okay, if you want to study, you have to apply for student visa. Yeah. Or if you want to marry, you know, so you can have to apply non immigrant yeah. uh, or visa for yeah. marry or retirement. Yeah. If you are 50 years old, but yeah. you're still young. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So, um, uh, what I also uh, like to mention is that there are a few uh, workspaces here in Chiang Mai already. Mm -hmm. Let me actually, I want to mention it myself, mm -hmm. but what yeah. do you think? Why is one workspace uh, different than other yeah. workspaces? Because of our concepts. As a first, it's about home, mm -hmm. you know, feel like a home. Second, uh, our core. Uh, Father or our partner, yeah. uh, we join together with seven people, and we we have a uh, skill. First, we have two lawyers here. Yeah. Okay, we have accounting. Yeah. We have marketing. We have a financial, even technician for IT expert. You know that's why we work uh, in this uh, in this town. We have suggestion for any customer who needs some help or yeah. some suggestion, and also we have very good technician. Yeah. You know, in here, so internet. So you have all the yes. all the different yeah. uh, categories of, of work. Yes, work. Experience. We have sky room. We have meeting room. Yeah. You know, we have coffee downstairs. So mm. it's combination. Yeah. So that's why this is the different from another working. Yeah. You know, yeah. for working, we are one workspace to home yeah. and one stop service. You know, yeah. like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is really true. When mm. I come inside and there's someone new, mm -hmm. and most of the time you are here, that's yes. always nice. Yes. And there's always someone new for me, and you introduce them. Yes. And I'm just part of the family. It's yes. really nice. Yes. Here. That's yeah. that's that's our uh, policy and concept. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're a lawyer, yes. right? Yes, I'm yeah. a lawyer so as well. One well, our partner also lawyer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and bookkeeper as well, you know. Oh, so okay. yeah, so and like I said that is a combination. Yeah. But we not really push them to to, you know, we just want to help. Yeah. We just want to uh, give them the right answer. Yeah. Because of the feeling is when they come to Thailand, they want to know what can I can do, what I can I cannot do, yeah. you know. So yeah. they uh, I know the foreigner worried respect about our law, so sometimes they, they didn't know. So this is the, the most different yeah. one works bad here. Yeah. We, we are here to help you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thai law can be really difficult, can be really, as a foreigner, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't do the right thing, sometimes you can get even in trouble. If yes. you don't know, you are here. Yes, I'm here, yeah. you know, yeah. with my team. Yeah. yeah. So uh, because the feeling, I, when I go overseas mm -hmm. and I have a feeling the same, what yeah. I can do, what I cannot do, you know. Yeah. So this is 
Uh, here, yeah. we are here to helping you. Mm. Mm. Do you have something to, to the world to say? Maybe? Yeah, I have to say that welcome to One World Space and we are here to helping you as much as we can. And if any help, let us know. We are here as One World Space. One World Space. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Ka. Sadiqa. Experts in Chiang Mai, we got a pretty good idea why the people are choosing Chiang Mai to be in uh, for starting a business or just working remotely. One Workspace is offering several memberships and you get a 10% discount already that they offer when you check in at the moment you're signing up for it. If you mention Chai Travel, you also get a 5% on top of the 10% discount. So you're able to get a 15% discount in your first month of signing up this membership. Thanks for watching till the very end. I would like to say from the north of Thailand in the city of Chiang Mai, bye for now and stay champ.